then you're both okay. so oh, carrying around. Yeah. And you're both yeah. going to put you. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's probably good. That's it? That's going to be pretty low. It's pretty low. Lift it up a little bit. Because remember, we're going to go over to the top of the board. Okay. So what we're gonna do? Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna lift Hoffman onto the stretcher, and then we'll show you how to remove the clamshell for a patient that doesn't have to stay on the clamshell. So if you've just picked up like an overdose and you've got them on the stretcher, you don't need to leave them on on the clamshell because they're not a spinal concern. So how how you how we would do that? So let's get four people. For volunteers to lift Hawking safely onto the stretcher, making sure this is locked and not going to go anywhere. Okay. So you wouldn't have one person on that side because they wouldn't be able to. Yeah. Guys, you know where you just slide all over the Yeah, you'll see. Don't worry. Okay. 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 Buckles attached, not gonna take them off. And then one of you down there, you're just gonna basically undo the, the head and the feet. Good stuff. Okay. And we're very careful. We're gonna explain to them, hey, wait, 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 wait. We're going to remove the clamshell. You might feel like you're falling, but you're not. Uh, then we're just very gently sliding it out. And then again, very carefully lifting. So leave the buckles attached so that when you pull this away, it's not going to back in the space with all the loose buckles. And be very careful when you lift it over. There's no way around it, so. Can you clamshell someone in recovery? Yes. Um, yes. Yes, yeah. 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 Um, let's get out of there. <laughs> 